no matter what situation I'm in, uh, whether I'm the backup, whether I'm the starter, uh, whether I'm the water boy on the sideline, which I was when I was younger. So um, I'm just going to continue to be myself and uh, never change for anything or anyone. Uh, Sam, Saquon Barkley just told a great story. You guys ran into each other and said, see you in New York. Could you just take us through that conversation and what it means to be drafted on a night where the other New York team had a, another big pick as well? Is that what he said? Um, yeah, I mean, Saquon's a great guy. Um, I was able to, you know, have some very long conversations with him about this whole process and what we've been through. Um, it was really the first time I, I met him personally. Um, so that was really cool to be able to meet him and uh, hang out with him for a little bit. But I'm just excited. I'm excited to get this process going and, uh, you know, meet my new teammates. <laughs> Sam, what, uh, what's your relationship like with the coaching staff that you've already met? Jeremy Bates is the offensive coordinator, a USC guy. Are you familiar with him at all? Yeah, I met with Coach Bates on my, uh, you know, well, he was actually at my workout at SC. He was, at, he was uh, also obviously uh, there for my visit. So Coach Bates is amazing. Um, he has a great football mind, uh, and I'm looking forward to working with him. Sam, over here in the corner, uh, not going number one overall. I know you said things happen, you know, for, for yep. a reason. Will there be a chip on your shoulder? Um, no, I'm just going to work the way I normally work. Uh, I've always had a really good uh, work ethic, um, and that's because of my parents, the way I was raised. So um, I'm just going to continue to work how I usually do, and I believe that good things are going to come out of that. Sam, when did you realize that the Browns weren't going to take you? Uh, sorry, can you say that again? Yeah, when did you realize the Browns weren't going to take you, they were going to take Baker? Uh, when I heard his name called. <laughs> Yeah, there was, you know, uh, they didn't say anything. He didn't say anything to my agent, so um, no one had any idea. Um, you know, when his name was called and my phone didn't ring, that was kind of the first, uh, you know, first sign. <laughs> What's the conversations kind of been like with maybe quarterbacks in the NFL right now? Have you had any, got any tips from them? And maybe what's the conversation been like with the Jets front office as well? Yeah, so first of all, I think, you know, just – Everyone in the league, uh, whether, you know, at the quarterback position, they're, uh, you know, it's kind of like a fraternity. It's, you know, it's a special group that we're a part of, and, you know, I understand that. And I've been able to talk to guys like Phillip Rivers, uh, Deshaun Watson, Blake Wardles, um, have special conversations with those guys, um, guys who have been there, who have done that. So um, those are special conversations. And then, um, you know, to answer your question about the front office, it's, you know, Mr. Johnson is an amazing guy. Um, first of all, that's, you know, I think that's pretty obvious to anyone. He's just a really good person. Um, and I think what they're trying to do with their organization, with their franchise, is amazing. Um, I told everyone before this, no matter where I end up, is going to be the right, the right fit because I truly believe that everyone, not just the Jets, but everyone in the top of the draft, they're doing great things. Um, they're they're going to win here in the next few years. Um, you know, just depending on how their players play. And that's really the game. It's just how good do the players play. And um, I think I have an opportunity to play well. Um, and I think our whole team has that same opportunity. Are you, are you mindful of the history of frustration with the Jets over the years? They've won one Super Bowl in the last 50 years. Is it, is it daunting at all to go into that? No, I'm just going to do my job. Every single day, um, just gonna go in there, work hard, and um, make no excuses. Just go in there and work really hard. And just out of cur just out of curiosity, the uh, walk-up song that you chose yeah. was also for Mariano Rivera. And I was wondering, was there any any uh, subliminal <laughs> message in there? Maybe. No, there wasn't. No, there was. I mean, they came out to me and asked for a uh, for a walk-up song. I had no idea what to choose. Um, so I just chose the ultimate walk-up song of all time. So it's pretty much the thought process there. Hey, Sam, um, Joshua Fatoon uh, talked about your poise. Right What's here. that? I can't hear you. I said Joshua, Joshua Toon, uh talked about your poise uh, in pressure situations. Can you talk about uh, what the Jets will be getting as far as your leadership? Yeah, you know, I think I'm a really natural leader. Um, not too big of a rah-rah guy that's been well documented but um, I'm able to go up to guys one-on-one -on -one, and I think the number one sign of being a good leader is just doing the right thing all the time uh, on and off the field and I do that really well.
obviously this is a right here. Obviously, this is a huge moment, you know, moving forward. But looking back, uh, what are you going to miss the most about, you know, your college days at USC? Yeah, I think there's just something to be said for, you know, going to class with these guys, you know, living with some of these guys. It's, you know, there's there's nothing like college football for that reason. You know, we're all in the same age group. We're, you know, three or four years apart, and that's it. So um, there's nothing like college football. Um, but don't get me wrong, I'm really excited about the next level. What has made the biggest impact in your life? Um, I think my dad. You know, my dad has made the huge, the biggest impact in, in my life because just of his work ethic. Um, you know, him getting up the hours he does, um, and then still coming home. You know, when I when I was little, I remember going home and having to wake him up uh, from his little nap on the couch to go play catch with me, and he wouldn't hesitate. He would go play catch. He would go shoot hoops in the backyard. Uh, he was just a great dad, and you know, someone I've always looked up to. Looking at the, the future with New York, do you look at that situation where you want to play right away, or are you okay with sitting? What's your kind of just like overall sense on like a? Um, whatever happens, happens. <laughs> no, it's uh, the coaches have a job to do, um, and we have a job to do as players, and that's to do whatever the coaches say. Whatever, whatever role I'm, you know, whatever the ro whatever role the coach tells me to do, um, whether it's a backup, whether it's a starter, I'm going to star in that. Um, that's what I did at SC. Um, when I was a scout team quarterback, I was trying to get the defense ready every single week, um, and that's just that's just my mind, my mindset, and that's the mindset I'm going to take into the next level as well. Thanks, guys.